All right, grasshoppers. Right now, Mrs. Bang and I are going to take you through some basic combinations that are related to kickboxing. Now, break down what my thought process is with these. Cinnamon, please. So, one of the most basic concepts of kickboxing and basic combination is lead hook to the rear low kick, okay? So, let's go ahead and break that down real quick. The hook upstairs is to get their hands up and get them maybe possibly leaning back, which exposes their legs. So, either they block the hook, go ahead and the hook, boom which will put their weight on the sleeve leg and then you can low kick that. Or a lot of times when they throw that hook, people lean back. Now the leg is open as well. So both ways are applicable for sending up the actual leg kick. One is to actually hit them, put the weight on the leg, go again, hit hook So that's one option. The other option is they see the hook, they lean back, and again, that still sets up the leg kick because they're leaning back and the leg's exposed, okay? So that's how the hook actually works. How to train this though? I have my partner hook on the mitt, nice and light. Again, the timing, the distance, and accuracy. Come on, hook, low. Middle of the thigh, nice and light. When I receive that kick, I put my weight into the leg. She's not kicking me hard. It's more for, again, timing, distance, and accuracy. So I train the drill, hook low, is here on the mitt, low kick on the leg, okay? Now, there seems to be an unwritten rule that off the low kicks, nobody does anything about that. I don't count her, she doesn't throw anything else. Well, that's what most people do. What I want us to do is have a response off that. So we're gonna add two hands to get their hands back up that'll also stop me from trying to counter as quick. So if she goes hook low, brings the leg back two hands, that's what I feel is a good option, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Hook low, two hands, sweetie. Now that's gonna get their hands up. Well, one thing, it offsets the rhythm so that can counter you as easy, is making sure you're leading with the dance. A couple things are actually happening here. Hook me, sweetie, get hook low, bring the leg back. Two hands, staying alert. And again, that should get their hands up if they're not laying on the floor anyway. Now, that their hands are up, what do we do? A good combination when somebody has their hands up is the sticks combination. The sticks combination is jab, rear ruffle cut, lead hook, and then the rear body kick. That's the sticks combination, all right? So the sticks again is jab, rear ruffle cut, lead hook, and then the rear body kick. Now, when we spar and fray, I want you to kick them in the body. Boom. When you do drills, kick their block, okay? Work with your partner. So the sticks combination again is jab up the hook, rear body kick on their guard. We're setting that up though. Now we're gonna go backwards with the hook low, two hands. Hook low, two hands. That's getting the other hands up. That was good habits, we're staying alert. Once their hands are up now, let's rip to the middle with the sticks and make another body kick. No, you're good, you can let it go. So we're gonna hook low, two hands. Here's the drill, hook low, two hands. Now the sticks combo. Beautiful, mama. So whether it's kickboxing or mixed martial arts, they're still setting up the combinations. We have all these combinations and drills. How are they applicable? How are they working? What are we using them for? Well, to win, to hit, not get hit, but how to make them applicable. The hook sets up the low kick. Boom. A good habit off the low kick is putting something back in their face. We got their hands up. Now that their hands are up, let's finish them off with a more higher percentage combination, okay? And right now we're making the body kick but when you spar and fight, the full drill from the top, if you were to spar, hook, low kick, two hands. Now that their hands are up, do the sticks combo, we're making a head kick now. Boom. And finish them off. So that's how to train it. Why do we put it in this order? How to apply it in sparring drills and an actual fight. So we covered a lot of topics here. Short story, even if you're a day, not a day one student, but you're still a basic student, these are good habits. Hook low. Two hands. Boom. If you're the world champion, this is also good habits with both, two hands. So whether you're a newer student or the world champion, still train with good quality reps and good habits, please. Cinnamon, thank you. There we go, good ass hoppers, enjoy.